Hey everyone, this is Satvik and I'm back again with a new video and this video is the third episode of the image was hint. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. So guys, in the previous episodes, uh, which are, which are uh, arrived on past, covered like some things, uh, some topics like reverse image search as well as viewing EXIF data. And in this video, we are going to move a step further and we will try to find out the location that was being uh, captured in the picture. Right? like if you take some selfies you can find some people take selfies near some locations and uh, we'll try to find out where they were take uh, at which location they were taken place right so and also guys if you are new to my channel make sure to check out my new videos and also the uh, old videos as well as the playlist as well and if you really find them helpful do subscribe and share with your friends so that my content could reach more people you can follow me on twitter as well as you can uh, join my discord server for more support so let's dive so guys uh, i got some images over here you can see uh, let's see there is an image over here let's think we got an image and also guys everything i'm going to show here are only for educational purpose no it doesn't mean harm to anyone 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 right so if you can see i found a picture over here and i blurred out the person because i don't want to uh, uh, infringe some rights someone rights right so if you can see uh, there was a, a guy who took picture uh, beside an image and let's think we got this image from internet like uh, internet means like social media or uh, facebook twitter or anything like that anything like that and now our ultimate goal is to find where this picture was taken place and if you had watched my exif data video i had uh, showcased a case where uh, you can't find out uh, exif data all the time because whenever you upload to any social media platform they are going to delete it so if you can also try to see the exif data so i'll go to the properties i'll go to the file information you can see there is no much information available for this right so as i told so now only thing we have right now is uh, in order to find out where this was taken place like what is the location i'm not asking i'm not looking for the exact location but we'll try to find out where this guy was right so if you can see so the first and the foremost thing you need to see is whenever a person clicks a selfie so you need to try to find out some information like uh, here you can see uh, if you can uh, see my mouse pointer here you can see some railway tracks right and here you can see some big buildings over here as well as i think you can see like this is a bridge because it is over a uh, what do you call a railway uh, tracks right and here you can see a building and and every uh, every time you look at the image try to find out something that is unique so if you can see this particular building so don't consider this uh, this pointer because uh, when i took screenshot it got uh, captured over there you can see there's a big building over here uh, which looks like uh, uh, what you call something unique compared to all these things because all these buildings are normal and one important thing we found out was here there was some tracks and this guy was on bridge and in uh, and back of uh, him or her there was a, a big tower right so if you are really good at geography and if you really know some good places you can try to find out uh, through your knowledge like where this image was taken but if you don't know like me because I haven't traveled various countries you can simply uh, use something like Google reverse search like reverse image search so I'm going to Google and uh, okay got it I'll click on images and here I'll click on the search by image upload an image browse and I'm going to select this particular image and let's see what this throws out so Google uh, has one of the powerful search engine in the world. You can see even it is showing the who took these pictures as well. You can see how powerful the Google was. And we are not interested in who took these selfies, right? Uh, whether it be, whether it would be girl or boy, it doesn't mean. We want to find out the location where this was taken. So if you can scroll down a little bit and if you look into some blocks over here, you can see like a beautiful girl taking selfie in Toronto CN Tower image royalty so if we can open over here uh, you can try to find it out like we can see something like Toronto CN Tower we don't need to go and look into various things like it's the same image so here we got a clue that so note down your clues every time so the clues will be like to Toronto CN Tower right so this is a major hint we got right now uh, so what we'll try to do is we'll go to google maps 
uh, maps.google.com right if you go to the maps.google.com and if you simply search for uh, to, uh, run to c and tower you can see there was something coming over here and let's wait uh, for a while and uh, since this view is a uh, damn guys we can't even find out anything so if you can click over here you can go to the satellite images and you can see that there was a building like this you can see it's a tall building over here and these are all these uh, tracks you can see these are all these tracks so let's see a view over here uh, let's see a view over here sometimes this uh, hangs guys this particular satellite view hangs this is the problem that i faced with this google uh, thing google images so just simply reload it so as i told you uh my google what you call my google maps got stuck over here and you can see uh, it took for me a while i took uh, like two to three reloads and i got the uh, street view over here so here you can see this is the tower uh, which was featured in this picture and uh, as always you can look into some various things you can go to the various locations sorry there are some pictures over this location as well right so if you can go if you want to see the if, as i to, uh, forgot to mention if you want to see the street view here you can see a small icon over here so go and get drop him anywhere and uh, you can find out uh, what you call it is throwing out you the street view so you can see everything that is uh, near to that so you can see this is the building over here right and uh, and we can also conclude that this is in ontario toronto uh, I, f I think it is in canada so and here you can see some uh, what you call uh, tracks over here like in google a uh, street view you can't navigate to every place like if you can see over here you can only see a few uh, location you can only navigate to the few locations like if you click over here you can see only these are the locations that can be viewed like uh, let's think the, this is the place where uh, this uh, this woman took the picture let's see uh, we can navigate to that always because uh, they they are limited like so this only this feature only works when some uh, guys upload these kinds of pictures so uh, but we can get a clear understanding on how uh, how and where the picture was taken okay so this is everything guys and we'll also look into another example uh, so let me go to my directory and you can see uh, there was a there was a morph okay so this guy had uh, kept himself in a location so we don't know the location as I told you, I'm not good at this uh, kinds of finding out these locations. So the only thing you can do is go to the google.com. And as I told you, there are many search engines like Yandex, uh, everything. There are many things, Bing, etc. But the reason why I use Google is it fetches out best results for me uh, in my usage. I can say that. But if you are having, uh, if you are comfortable using other things, then you can. There is no objection in that. So let me open that and let's see where this picture was taken or what is the background of this location you can see sometimes if it is like a popular location uh, at the background you can see it is also throwing showing me uh, this thing so we'll copy this and we can go to uh, maps.google.com and that's it we can try to find out the location as i told you this is not uh, to find out the exact latitude and longitude it is not possible all the time but sometimes it is possible right so like if there are some good landmarks and stuff you can say i think this is the one right uh, this is the one building i think so uh so that is it uh you can go to the street view i think street view is not working over here we'll click over this and let's see we can go there so it takes some time it loads because uh, it is like an image rendering it takes some time and also you can my pc is burning out here so yeah we got the picture and this is the one like there would be another view like this is the one where this picture was taken place right so this is everything guys regarding this particular video i hope i had given you a clarity so this is not like only the way sometimes you can't even find a picture suppose if you capture my uh, picture from the webcam right now and you can find out where i am so this is also a limited thing 
this is not like uh, what do you call you can you can find every time sometimes the people take uh, like pictures in dark room or anything like that so this particular thing is not possible all the time but if there is a chance you can definitely try this out to find out a location and so that is it guys for uh, this video and if you really like this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in this kind of things and i'll uh, mention the link below uh, for a google form uh, where you can suggest me some new ideas or you can also provide me the feedback of any video that you want to and that is it guys for today uh, i hope you really like this video and this is satvik signing off we'll meet in the next video